Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I'm going to be talking about are we resting enough? Are you resting enough in your training cycle? And um, the inspiration for this is coming once again from uh, T.S. Mitchell, one of the, the guys that I coach. I got an email from him. Uh, he sent it on Thursday. And uh, he was talking about how I had given him a program mapped out to get him to his main event ready to perform. And he said that maybe we needed to tweak the program and it's still in, pr in progress. I've already replied to him, but it gave me the idea to make a video because I think this is something that affects all cyclists. Are you resting enough to where you're ready to perform when you go to your main event? And what I mean by that is, I'll use this as an example. Everybody that I coach, I give them a training schedule for the week. So let's say, for example, the week goes through Monday through Sunday. That's the way I like to do it. Because usually after the weekend on Mondays, a lot of times, it's a rest day. Now, the people that coach, rest can mean different things. Rest for one person can mean an easy spin. For another person, it can mean not riding at all. So you have to look at all the things that are affecting your life. So I'll use T.S. Mitchell's uh, details, for, for example, in this video. T.S. sent me an email and he said that I had told T.S. I said, you need to work out Tuesday. You need to work out Wednesday because your event is on Saturday. OK, he, he has something called the assault <clears throat> uh, there's a mountain locally. They do an assault on it periodically where they go and basically it's almost like a time trial, but they're riding with other people. Um, so for this assault on that mountain, I told him, I said, you need two days before that event, you need a rest. So that means Thursday is a rest day. Now for him, and I always give people the judgment call, rest can mean take the day off. Rest can mean spin. You have to listen to your body. When you get to Thursday, you have to listen to how you feel. What we talk about out the door. If there's a doubt and you don't feel, you don't feel eager, take the day off. Rest. Now, what I found out, though, that T.S. is doing other things other than cycling. So he's doing Taekwondo. And what he told me was he had done his workout with Taekwondo. And I may have the facts a little blurred here. But anyway, by Wednesday, he was so tired. That he really could not even do the Wednesday workout. So he had to rest. His body told him enough. Because what it means is that he'd been doing too much back here. Now, I posed a question to him to give me details on what he'd been doing. Because Sunday for him is a day where he can either ride or he can rest. But that's a judgment call. You got to listen to how you feel based on what's been going on. It's not just cycling. It's everything else going on in your life. So... When he told me that by Wednesday he was wiped out, it's a concern because he was suggesting that we change the schedule. And the reason why you don't want to just arbitrarily do that, because this is more of a process, and I've explained that to him, is you want to set it up to where a couple of days before your event, you want to start your rest. That's the part, of, that's the other side of the workout. You work and you recuperate. That becomes a workout. So training is not just going out and hammering. Training is riding hard or going to the gym or whatever it is sport you're in. And the other part of training is rest. So with the work and rest, that completes the cycle of training. And then you're ready to perform again. This is the reason why people frown on using steroids and other things. Because when you train, your muscles are torn apart. They get inflamed or whatever else. That's the achiness you feel the next day or after a workout. That's good to feel that. That's normal. That's, the, that's your body telling you, you got to back off a bit because I'm, I'm not at peak condition, meaning I got some damage here. So if you take steroids and other things that mask, that, that uh, what they call anti-inflammatory drugs, what ends up happening is, the inflammation is not naturally allowed to go down because you're taking drugs to speed up that process to where you'll be able to train harder again the next day. But what might end up happening down the road is 
you are breaking down the body's natural defenses to where you could injure yourself because you end up doing too much too soon. And then you start pulling ligaments and tendons and other things. That's what happens when people use steroids besides the other side effects. You basically don't allow the body to naturally heal. So you got to be really careful. The natural healing process requires time. Just like it takes time to train, it takes time to rest. So let's get back to this. So my concern for TS was that he said, can we change the schedule to where, let's say we move this back this way, meaning take Tuesday's workout, move it to Monday, and you know, so forth and so on. I, I replied to him telling him we have to be careful because the goal is not the workout. The goal is your event. I think it's Mount Morrow, Morrow Mountain, I think that's what it is. So Morrow Mountain is, is the main event. So for example, like uh, uh, Abel in Norway, I'm building something for him because in, su- in the summer, he's going to attack a stage of the Tour de France where they allow people to come in and ride the, the stage before the, the professional riders come on. So that's the goal. So you start with that goal and you back up. So on a, on a micro cycle of a week, his goal is, to be at peak condition on Saturdays. So that means that he's got to do his work early in the week to where he starts to rest around here. You don't want to start to rest on Friday. You may not have enough time, depending on how much load from working out, life stresses, whatever, however your week went. That's why I like to buffer it with a couple of days. So you have to ask yourself, the reason I'm making this video is, when you feel tired, go back and look at what you've been doing. Are you doing too much? So TS is doing cycling workouts. I, I told him Monday you can rest or you can ride. I mean, he's got to make those decisions. But then what he's doing is he's doing Taekwondo and he's doing some intense stuff on, on, on that. So what I, what I suggested to him was do the intense Taekwondo workouts on the same day that you do the intense cycling workouts. Because the workout pyramid is like this. You're going, you're doing your biggest stuff. It's a reverse pyramid. I'll do it this way. Maybe it'll make more sense. Okay. Let's do it that way. Okay. So early in the week, Tuesday, you want to hammer yourself. Well, on Wednesday, you're going to be a little tired. So then maybe let's say you did sprints and intervals up here. You may not be able to see this very well, but so you do sprints and intervals up here. On this day, you may only be able to do like steady state anaerobic threshold training on your Wednesday workout. So Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Then by Thursday, you can either do a recovery workout or like an endurance zone one, zone two workout, or take the day off depending on what you've been doing. So that's the thing about Thursday. It's kind of questionable. You got to listen to how you feel. How much rest have you had? It's not just sleep, relaxation. Staying off your feet. If by Thursday you're dragging, yeah, don't, don't, don't do a long ride because you got Saturday coming up. Rest on Thursday. And then Friday you can see how you feel because that's their buffer day. You do a little spin to just stay loose so that by Saturday you're ready to work out hard again. So what you've done is you've had two hard days and then you rested because on Monday you should have been tired from the weekend depending on how it went to where you would just do something to loosen up on Monday or take the day off. When there's a doubt and you're not sure you feel like working out, take the day off and save it for the next workout so that your quality is high. So that's the, that's what the, the gist of this video is about is, are you getting enough rest? Are you resting enough between your workouts to make sure that your quality stays high to where you don't get overtrained or burned out? Now, I will summarize by saying that if you have an event on Saturday, Make sure that on Thursday you don't go out and hammer yourself. If you must work out on Thursday, do it early in the morning so you have the rest of that day to recover plus Friday. That's the way you got to do it. Don't go kill yourself on Thursday night and then by Friday you're still a little tired. That means on Saturday you won't be 100%. That's the key. When there's a doubt, take the day off two days before. Always two days before the event that you care about, you want to rest. Now, rest can mean... 30 minutes spin, rest can mean don't even ride that day. But it doesn't mean that that's the day you're going to handle a lot of stress in other parts of your life. Maybe you can do your errands and other things on Wednesday or some other day. 
Do your hardest workouts all on one day. So let's say, for example, for T.S. Mitchell, your Taekwondo stuff needs to be on Tuesday and Wednesday, the hardest workout. Put them on those days so you're doing Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm a bit concerned as to why he was tired on Wednesday because he should not have been. What that means is maybe on Sunday he did too much. Because if you're resting on Sunday and you're resting on Monday, you shouldn't be tired on Wednesday. You should be able to do two workouts here depending on what's going on. So you have to gauge what kind of load you're carrying because I'm building this for cycling, but you have to consider the other stuff you're doing. So he's doing cycling and he's doing Taekwondo. So he's got two sports he's working on. That's probably why he's tired on Wednesday. So what that means is Sunday should be a day off, not the optional rest that I recommended for him. And those are the things we're tweaking. And that's why I wanted to make this video to just kind of have you guys assess and ask yourself, am I resting enough before my event? So remember, always rest two days before your events, not the day before. It may not be enough. Okay. Two days before back off, take the day off or just spin, turn off the monitors, turn off the power meters. Don't even wear your heart rate belt. Just spin easy. Take in the sights or don't ride at all. And then the day before, see how you feel. Because that's the day when you're checking yourself to see if you're ready for the weekend. You do 30 minutes and you spin a little bit and then you, you, you increase the speed to like race pace to test yourself. That's what it's about. So T.S. TS and I will get on his schedule and get it mapped out. But uh, the big reason why it inspired me to make this video because this affects a lot of cyclists. There is a tendency to get excited as you improve and you think you need to do more. Nothing wrong with doing more, but if you do more work, you better do more rest. The rest need to be equivalent to where you're feeling 100% before your next big event. Don't just go out there and continue to hammer yourself thinking that the more you ride, the more you will improve. No. Training cycle is work and rest, not just work. So you have to equate how much work you're doing with how much rest you've incorporated in there. So when you're doing back-to-backs on Tuesday and Wednesday, that's not the day to go clubbing. Tuesday night is not the day to go clubbing. So on Tuesday, you do a sprint workout, you do heavy intervals, you need to eat, drink, get enough sleep so that on Wednesday you can do your anaerobic threshold. So what you're doing here factors into how you run your life. You can't go hang out all night and expect to get up early in the morning and work hard on the bike. You can't have it that way. Nobody's saying you shouldn't hang, but then maybe you want to hang on like Monday, Monday night, or, uh, well, let's see, maybe Saturday night after your big ride. You have to pick your spots. You can't go out and stay up all night and then you got a hard ride that morning. You will not be at your best. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up. I hope that this uh, covered what I wanted to and will help some of you get out there and assess. Um, I did not get into the specifics because the training plans that I put together are based on the goals of the riders that I coach, what they're trying to accomplish. And I, I gear it towards what they're trying to do. I've got people like there's a gentleman in Montana that just wants to find his base. So what I'm having him do is just ride for a while at low intensity, and then we're going to do some tests so I can build a plan just for him. By building a plan just for him, we can focus his improvement based on what he's trying to accomplish. So you keep that in mind, okay? So if you guys need any help with coaching plans, go to veloharmony.com, look under the services tab, and sign up for coaching, and we'll put something together for you. All the details are out there. But get out there, get your caves in, and make sure you work and rest equally.